Being able to hide files and folders on PC can help you keep your personal data safe. Let's see how. So let's locate the part that I have my sensitive content I would like to hide from users. So I'm just going to click on my file explorer to bring up the folder or the sensitive content I would like to hide. I have it as data one. I can also get explorer by combining two keys on my keyboard. Start plus E branches the same thing. Click on this PC and then you can find my volume and that is the same content. Alright, so I'm just going to right click on this content, go for properties and then choose this option hidden apply and then choose ok now just refresh the page from here show more and click on refresh and you can see i still have the content right here now if i come in here and i select view and choose show and i select hidden item right below here you can see that my item or the content is gone and we can find it here but it's still not secure it is still can be fine or users can still find this document so how do they find it they have to come to view Come back to the same show and click on the same option they chose earlier if i click on it it's going to bring back the content i did uh, I, I that got hidden so you can see it appears once more this approach is not secured at all though it's going to hide the content but still if you come to view and choose show you'll be able to what, retrieve it so this is an option you can turn it on and off anytime you want but this is not that uh, secured means so for that case we want to use a different approach this is what we call the use of what cmd or the command prompt now the command prompt is going to help us hide it so that every time you use this option it is not going to even display for you to see the content uh -huh. so using command prompt it is much what secured your content will be hidden and no other person can intercept with your what content so let's see how to do that one as well now we are going to use the command prompt that's the cmd to hide this content so that any other user who interacts with the system will not be able to uh, view the content so what we're going to do is we select the path at the very top here where you have this pc and then the location that's a new d click outside of it and type cmd and execute it once you execute you get this prompt that's the command prompt interface you're talking about so this is a powerful tool i really love using so it helps uh, it helps us and makes our life easy and then faster so command prompt is the best tool that i love to use all the time okay but then let's see how to use this option so now what i'm going to do is to type the command attrib remember command prompt is is not case sensitive so any command that capital letters throughout and lower letters throughout whichever option whichever way you want to put it is still going to work for you so i'm just going to type attrib and then i'm going to bring this option plus H, bring a space and I'll put plus S right here. Once I'm done, I'll bring a double quote and put in between that the name of my folder. So my name of my folder is data1 and I'm going to execute this command. Okay, so we didn't spell our tube right, so it's A-T-T-R-I-B and then execute it once again. So once it is being executed, let's keep on, go ahead and refresh this and see if it is still showing so you can see it is hidden but then we saw earlier that if you click on view and come down to show you can uh, uh, click on hidden items and it should display but you can see that at this time around even if i refresh the content is gone and there's no way for me to uh, retrieve it any longer if i come to view you can see that this time around it is not working so it is hidden and no other person can uh, intercept with this so that is how to secure your data or hide your data so that no other person can what intercept with the data now we would like to bring the document that is hidden now so how do you bring the document once again so what i'm going to do is go back to the same cmd so as usual we came in here and then we type cmd executed it and then we got our cmd right here so what you do is you take a reverse of the same thing that we did so remember we type a trip then we we brought a space, and then we said pl uh, we, we gave it plus h. So this time around it's going to be minus h, and then minus s. So you can see at first it was pp. So the plus plus is for hiding, and then the minus minus is for what? Retrieving it back. Then the path, the same name, the name of your content, which was data one, and then you execute now. 
so once you execute you realize that it pops up instantly so now you've seen their content once again so we've seen how to hide the content and with cmd and at the same time how to unhide the content as well